What's up guys, Deadpool15 here and today I'm going to be bringing you my season review to the 16-17 season. Now it has come to an end. Open your escorts. I am wearing the new home kit for the 17-18 season which is next season. So anyway. Starting off in the summer, Forrest appointed Philip Montagnier. Now, guys, in my, in my, in my opinion, guys, he was a bad choice of manager. To be honest, if you, he was a bad choice because of what he did. His first game. His first competitive game was indeed against Nigel Clough's Burton Albion, and we managed managed to come out with a with a four three victory in that game, and that was the opening game of the season. And he got his first three points as Nottingham Forest manager, but then his next competitive league game was away at Brighton at the Amex. Stadium, and they lost that game three nil, and that was his first defeat. But until it got into a mid December, where we beat it switched to nil, where we beat Barnes left five two, and when we beat Newcastle two one, I thought that we'd be going on a bit of a of a positive run but not in, but not until it came to the derby game away at the Apro Stadium we lost that game three nil and that's where it came to an end because before that game we won three games on the bounce but then he got under pressure with poor results especially against 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 the teams like Barnsley and Birmingham, which we really should have won, and that was his last game as Forest manager, because he got sacked after that game, and then at that point Gary Brazil and Jack Lester took over as interim manager, and his first game was against Bristol City at home, and he managed to get the three points in that game. Did Gary Brooks from a free kick from Ben Osborne, kind of a like like a Matt Letitia free kick from when he was at Southampton, but then he he did good for the first few games. Did Gary Brisler and until the form started to turn with defeat. At Ellen Road, Carroll Road against Norwich, uh, defeats at Craven Cottage against Fulham, and but we managed to be Aston Villa, but then Gary Brazil's last game in charge was against Burton Albion at the Aprilia. At the Pirelli Stadium, where I managed to lose one nil to Nigel Clough's side, but then, before the Derby County game at home, Forrest appointed Mark Warburton, who is still the Forest manager now. Where we, where in his first game he managed to pick up a two-two draw, and with a uh, Gary Rarrett, Rarrett being a uh, appointed on the same day as Mark Warburton was as Derby manager but then he managed managed to get another point out of his second game about Preston at Deepdale but then his first defeat I think came in the next game away at Wolves at Malignan yes so that was his first defeat as manager but then I think I think Forrest won 
the next two games, I think. And they was, um, I think they was against kind of weak sides, if I remember rightly, guys. So, anyway, in my opinion, guys, it's been a really poor season for us. We just managed to survive on the last day against Ipswich Town at home, against Mick McCarthy's team. But it should have been done a long time ago. It should never have been to the last day of the season. We should have got it done really against QPR. And then we wouldn't have had to go through this. And hopefully this never happens again, guys. So, yes, this has been my season review. Guys, and I will be doing a season preview for the upcoming season. Up and guys, I will not see you now until July the 2nd because that's when I will start my gameplay on July the 2nd. So guys, if you don't see any any videos before then, then you know where I am. But you might see the odd goal the idiot as as you know the goals that have scored are, that the goals that have scored on FIFA. So anyway, if you did like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment your thoughts down below on what you thought of of this season as a whole and most of all peace